So, you want to make money with Blender, but you don't know how. In this video, I'm going to show you 5 methods that you can use to make money with Blender or any other 3D software. So without further ado, let's get started. This video is brought to you by Learn to Make Looping Animations, a Blender course that teaches you to create 4 high quality looping animations step by step. Check it up in the link below. Selling 3D Models If you happen to have some 3D models that you have worked on for your personal projects, then you should put them up for sale instead of letting them sitting in your hard drive. Some of the websites that you can list your 3D models for sale on are TurboSquid, CG Trader, 3D Export, 3D Ocean, Cube Brush, and Blender Market. Also, if you happen to create 3D models for games, you can share them as assets in the Unity Asset Store or the Unreal Marketplace. But if you want to take a big step towards selling your 3D art, you need to understand that gaining popularity and credibility will take time. As a 3D artist, you need to have confidence in your work and be patient to achieve your sales target. Now here are 3 takeaways that can help you be successful at selling 3D models. The first thing is to be updated with the market trends and continuously sense the industry for any changes in demand. Second, you should follow a workflow that provides complete and accurate information while putting your 3D art up for sale. And lastly, understand the established processes, practices, and instructions and follow them in a good faith. Freelancing There are some websites to help you find freelance job and becoming familiar with these websites is a great first step to launching your career as a freelance 3D modeler. Some of these websites are Upwork, CAD Crowd, Freelancer, People Per Hour, and CG Trader. But in order to succeed in your journey as a freelancer, you need to have the skills to be successful. People will most likely appreciate an artist with some experience background working for a big or a medium sized company, but after all, it's all about your portfolio and your communication with the client. After knowing this, it's time to start looking for jobs. As a freelancer, you want to have a steady stream of projects sent your way like an office job. You will have to go out and look for them. Your best bet is to start looking on sites that are geared toward freelance 3D modelers and applying to every job you think you can handle. In the beginning, you will probably be turned down a lot, but as you gain more credentials, you will be able to pick and choose your jobs. Creating scripts and plugins Being able to code in some of the 3D software scripting languages can greatly help you, not just by making yourself much more valuable to any potential employer or client, but also by earning some money on the side. Writing and selling plugins or scripts for a 3D software is something you can do when you have coding skills and know what artists are looking for to make their lives easier. You can even start digging into this field with having a little bit of knowledge about Python and the Blender API because you can use other add-ons that are created to make it easier for developers to make add-ons, like the Serpents 3 add-on that allow you to use nodes as a visual scripting method. Now as an add-ons or script developer, you can write scripts that optimize workflows speed up repetitive tasks, enhance the software with additional features, or optimize accessibility. This can be as easy as scripting a button into the user interface to make a command more accessible, which is usually hidden deep inside the menu. You can code the plugin that fixes missing textures paths at the click of a button, or a plugin that flips all normals before exporting to FBX or a script that disables generators and subdivision surfaces to make the viewport faster. The possibilities here are endless, 
and if you're an experienced developer who knows their way around 3D and know how 3D artists work from their own experience, you can add tremendous value to any 3D team not only in the terms of pipeline optimization. Chances are you have already coded some little helpers to make your own work more efficient. Share these and make them donation where or offer a trial. If they are truly helpful, you will be astonished at how grateful users are and what they are willing to pay. Here are some pointers where you can start selling your plugins and scripts. Blender Market, Unity Asset Store, IE Scripts. Make money with material packs. There are always artists in need of materials. They can just drop into their projects or use as a starting point for tweaking until it looks perfect. There are so many different render engines and 3D packages out today that the need for specialized materials will stay high in the future. You can even dedicate your time to creating a material library that has tons of materials. These sell really well on the blender market for example. Full or part time employed. You can work full time or part time at a 3D animation studio, a VFX shop, an advertising agency, etc. Depending on the size of the company, it will prefer the 3D generalists or specialists. Large studios want specialists and small shops prefer generalists that can cover many different areas of a pipeline. And as a 3D generalist, you will have tasks assigned to you and you will be managed by your superiors. You don't usually have any client contact unless you are in a small studio that will trust you enough to handle client relationships. Over time, it's common to meet project deadlines but income is steady and you usually don't have to worry about finding new projects to work on since this is the studio job. Now after you know some of the ways 3D artists can make money with, a really important advice I would give you is that you need to be really patient and always improve your skills. You are competing with thousands of people who worked as 3D artists full time for years. You can't just start today and compete with them and expect to be the best at your first steps. I'm telling you this because I don't want you to quit at the beginning of your journey. Always try to have fun learning 3D and one day in the future you will be able to make a living out of it. Now tell me in the comments below what do you think about making money as a 3D artist. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.